What's up guys, Lethal Leslie here and today I'm back with another episode of The Trade to Glory. In the end of last episode I was talking about making a big risk, taking a big risk with the coins and spending them all on centre backs from a certain club. So these are three, uh, four items we've actually just sold that we had in the club and this is the investment guys. Now the investment didn't quite go to plan in the way that I was expecting wasn't expecting to have to pay so much for some of these players. I started off, as you can see, paying 4.8k for them. Got a lot for around that price. And then it went up to 5.8k. As you can see, it's already gone up to 6.8, 6.9k. And I've been paying, and I have paid as high as, can we find one? 8, excuse me, 8k a player, guys. So it has gone extremely expensive, but it's all about the risk, isn't it? I, like, even if they only go to 10k, there's 200k to be made of those. As you can see, I've got 95 of them. Already got the search in, so you guys can see they might have actually dropped just slightly since I bought them. Uh, since I bought them at the highest price, but yeah, guys, so far so good. As you can see, they've dropped to. Let me go down. No, not 6.9, 7.5. The cheapest ones are now at 7.57, guys. But majority of them I got for much cheaper than that i got majority for seven seven k or less so you know we're pretty good on that front as in we've made good profit and we did get a lot of them for i think under 6k i think we've probably got a good 40 of them for under 6k so we're still in profit right now on them but it's just seeing how things go one thing i want to check now is how much exactly are even on the market right now so let's go to the end here and find out just how much are on the market right now guys each page has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven items on it so just for argument's sake, let's say 10 to make it easy and we can add the amount of pages on at the end to sort it out, guys. So, you know, as you can see, there's still quite a lot on the market right now, more than there was yesterday and the day before when I was picking these up. But that's fine. They're still extremely high priced. And what's great is that every time these get bought, they actually get sold, guys. So they're 360 plus the 36 obviously extras which makes it there are 400 of these cards that's all 400 of all the center backs and i think that's pretty good going you know so hopefully over the next three four five days these guys will become extinct now and i push towards being extinct and maybe they'll open the cap up and we can make some really good money guys um, maybe not and we might have to sell them for 9 10k which would be good profit anyway but straight away i am happy with the investment if you look at what we've got now we've got 254k there and we also have 95 of these so 95 of these are seven and a half k would be around 700k and we would be able to add that on to put us just shy of a million coins anyway so it would be a positive investment guys which ain't bad. I'm going to open up a few packs in this episode as well because there isn't much else for me to do right now when I'm investing and stuff like that. And I just did three other marquee matchups. These are about to end, these marquee matchups. They were all relatively cheap. You can see I did a majority with stuff that I already had in our squad. And I just cleared the squad. All right, bear with me. I just fill it up again. Okay, guys, so there we go. We put the squad back in. And this time I'm going to submit it properly. Uh, there we go. Job done. And that gets us, we're only going to have a few rubbish packs here, but I don't think they're all worth doing, to be honest with you. This is how we did this one. Majority loyalty, we had to buy three players for this one. Very cheap to do, guys. Well worth it. One premium mixed players pack. Not a great pack, but it'll do. So, yeah, I've only ended up doing three of them because I just don't think it's really worth doing the Sydney one because I think they're 10k each a player. So, for me, that isn't something that I want to spend my coins on for 10k. So we've got three packs open here, guys. We're going to have a quick look. Like I said, it's going to be a really short episode again of the Trade to Glory. And that's just because there's not much I can show you when I'm doing long-term investments like this. But I do want to give you an update where and if I can kind of thing of me actually having the play. Just to show you guys that I've actually, you know, bit the bullet and gone ahead and actually invested like I said I would. And not, you know, saying to do one thing and doing another, basically. So I did go ham. I spent a lot of our coins on the trade glory on that and yeah it's looking good isn't it guys so we've got these three packs they're not really good looking packs to be honest with you pretty poor packs to be fair but we get some players back maybe some decent silvers who knows so no not really not silvers from the uh, good league silvers from the second division which is no good and the last pack is another mixed pack it has three rares in it can we get a board out 
Ah, no, we can't, guys. We do apparently get three rares in that, though, which would be interesting to see if it is actually three rares. It is not three gold rares. Oh, Pepe from Lille. Is that a 20k player we just packed there? Maybe, maybe. Let me stick the rest of these in the club. If I'm not mistaken, this guy goes for a cool 22k. So we do get some in other marquee matches in the end. Uh, let's see, and this is exactly what we're trying to get with the other players. We're trying to make pick out the players that are going to hopefully get their price increased. I don't know if these centre-backs are going to, but I do fancy them to go up to 10k. Hence the reason I've actually invested them in the first place. And, yeah, so let's have a little look over and see what he's going for. 29, 30, 29, 28, 28, 28, 27. So I think I'm going to go and give someone a fair price at 25k for this guy. So for the people chasing out Edison Cavani. But you know, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This guy here that I've just packed for 25k, 24750 now, was um, was going for 10k. And you know, there was enough of him on the market that we could have picked up 100 at 10k. And you know, you could have sold him on easily then for 1.5 mil profit before tax, guys. And that's what we're trying to go. We're going to try and be catching with these player of the month cards when they come out now there's nothing as good this time but it's still worth keeping an eye on and trying to catch that as they, they come out maybe we've got a good one here who knows as time goes on they may become even more extinct you know maybe one of them might move in january something like that that'll really help it out or it might go the other way someone might come in january but hopefully they'll go up a little bit more and we can make maybe three four hundred k on but if you're really lucky you can make something like this which is a lot of coins guys so let me list this guy for 24k and i'm going to quick sell these guys here I think I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest with you guys. In the end, it turned out to be a pretty awesome pack. Has he instantly sold for that? He has indeed. Wow, okay, so there you go. 24k, guys. 24,750, and that's where I'm going to leave this one. You can see that the investment's in. I don't know when the trade to glory will be back now. It might be a few days before I bring it back, and maybe even a week or something until these cards are at the selling point because there isn't really much I can do. I have five spaces on my trade pile. I might come back and do a few packs or something like that, maybe a few league SPCs. Um, a few comments have been asking to talk about League SBC, so I might do something like that as well. But yeah, this is uh, the Trade to Glory where it's at, and let's just cross our fingers that these cards go up a fair bit, guys. So if you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always, and take it easy.